First thing you need to do is name your business. This is a fun and exciting part, but I want to make sure that you're doing it the right way so that you don't wind up having to change your name later. So just in the past couple months alone, I've had two clients call me who received what's called a cease and desist letter. And that means someone else owns the name that they were using. In one case, we had to rebrand the thing entirely. So I don't want you to build all this goodwill and brand online and in your town to find out you got to change it sometime later because it's expensive and sometimes it's hard to recover from. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to go search the names out there. Super easy to do. I'll show you exactly which website to go to and how to get there and how to search those names. So first we want to make sure we're not infringing. The next step is to make sure that you protect your brand and you pick a name that you can get the maximum protection on. So I'm going to teach you how to do both of these.